<risa> ¿Te gusta? Sí. Sí. ¡Muah! Hi guys, welcome back to The King and the Flower. My name is Daisy and today I'm going to show you this super awesome double pinch pot project. It is a seashell. And this was one of my favorite projects to do with my Ceramics One students. So it's really accessible. And if you're looking for something fun and simple and beautiful to create, this is the perfect project for you. So I'm going to walk you through all the steps. And then in the end, you'll have a beautiful seashell that you can fire and then paint or glaze. And I hope you enjoy it. Let's get to it. We're going to start by wedging to prepare the clay. Our seashell will be made of two pinch pots. Oftentimes when you're creating a pinch pot, you start with a ball, but for this project, we're gonna aim for a cone shape. You can create a pinch pot by pinching and rotating in your hand. A little bit of moisture on your fingertips can help to smooth out any cracks. And now repeat the steps for your second pinch pot. It's very helpful as you create your second pinch pot that you check the fit and make sure they will work well together. The opening of both should be relatively the same size. Now it's time to create the spiral. Begin by using a tool to impress the spiral. Create pressure from the inside out to give the spiral more definition. Sometimes when creating pressure from the inside, the form opens a little bit, but you can blend in some clay either from the form itself or add a little bit of clay to seal it up. I find it useful to use a brush to help with blending. This allows the clay to move around a little more easily and it restores a little bit of moisture to the clay as well. Once you finish the spiral end, you might need to adjust the form if needed in order for the openings to fit together again. My favorite tool to use when scoring and slipping is a serrated rib. I just dip it in water, scratch the surface, and then this allows the two to connect with a little bit of slip formed in the hatch marks. Don't forget to blend, blend, blend when you connect the two together. This ensures that the two will stay together and that the two will become one. It's time to open the shell, and I'm just using this modeling tool to slice it open. Take your time to bend one side out, one side in, blending as you go and smoothing everything out on the outside and the inside. This is the perfect time to take a little brush and seal up the seam where the two pots met. And then sculpt and define the seashell. I really like to define this spindle end and just pull it out a little further. That way when it bends together, it'll create a nice pointed end. Mm -hmm. 
this might be a good time for you to do some last minute finishing touches. I'm going to add a few more details to mine, but this last part, I think it's a bit more optional. Uh, sometimes I'd like a smooth seashell, so decide if you want to add some details. Remember to score and slip and blend, such an important part of the process, and have fun. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video and you found it useful. And if you did, please click that subscribe button. That way you can let me know that you find my, my content helpful and I can keep creating the videos that you see. Um, I have a lot of other videos for you guys to check out on pinch pots, slab, oil medicine, wheel throwing. And I hope to create more, especially this summer, right? Right? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, check out our Etsy and you can help to support our dream. Thank you guys, thank you for all the encouragement, love and support, and I'll see you next time from King of the Flower Pottery.